Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mountain Dew Racing Series. We're here for our fifth chase race here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway for the running of the Bank of America 500 and 20 laps around this historical racetrack and it should be a great race so hang tight for these 20 laps. Um, coming into today's race Jack Richards took the points lead after an impressive top five finish last week at Talladega took the points lead back over from Steven Gonzalez and they're pretty much pulling away in a two car battle right now for the championship as nobody else is within 20 points of them really so a lot of people need to gain points in the chase as Steven Gonzalez and Jack Richards continue to pull away as we head into the halfway point of the chase after this race. So our poster today is Charles Jackson, the 36th. And on the outside of him is the 55 of Matthew Rodriguez. Row 2 has our top qualifying chaser, defending series champion Jake Rogers in the 2, still looking for his first win, and the 99 of Scott Luke Walker. Row 3 has a pair of Toyotas and the 74 of Matt Richards and the 83 of James McLeod. Row 4 has the 23 of Morgan Carpenter and the 6 of John Acosta. And round out your top 10 are brothers in Zohar Mutton and Trent Dunham. And just to update where our two guys up in the points right now are, are qualifying. Steven Gonzalez is starting dead last today. But Jack Richards starting right there a few rows ahead. So should be interesting how they go and run. 33rd spot for Jack Richards and 42nd for Steven Gonzalez. Jake Rogers starting third today. Take advantage. Came in here, six in the point stakes, 34 points back. He's tied with Aaron Reed right now, but Reed had the win. And Jake Rogers has not win, has not gotten a win this year, so he's still trying to break through and get his first win this season. He only won once last year, won the championship over Cody Birmingham. So looking to try to get a win this year. And the green flag is out. Charles Jackson gets a great jump on Matthew Rodriguez, and Jackson's going to take the lead going into turn one. It looks like Matthew's going to come down and hang on to the second spot. You don't usually see that from the outside pole sitter. Then you got down, they gonna run one two going on the back stretch. Steve Gonzalez is still running in the back right now. Stuck on the high side it looks like. Oh we got cars slipping up at the track a little bit. Oh and the 99 Scott Luke Walker's got in the wall. Oh no, Dylan Pochi's around, Aaron Reed. Connor Breen's in it. Aaron Reed is flipping. John Ryan Powell's involved. Steve Gonzalez gets a piece of it. And Aaron Reed's going to continue driving. Ryan Acosta is involved. Wesley Way or another chaser is involved. On the wrecking over here, James Qualls and Taylor Orndorff are wrecked. And Jake Johnson just got a piece of it. So many chasers taken out right at the beginning of this race. Jack Richards is fine. Callum Wells is fine. This might not be it for Rex, though. Is there smoke still up in the air? I think everything else is fine. Aaron Reed. Needing a good run today. And he's up on the track right now. Oh my god. He has to get out of the way if he doesn't want to get hit. Everybody else sneaks by. Oh, Red Bell just about got in the back of the nine car right there. Of Leo Rogers. Yeah. Oh, Randy Carpenter. Oh, about got a tap from Trent Dunham. So many chasers already in trouble in this race. And Charles Jackson looks like he's going to give up the lead right here to Matthew Rodriguez as we continue on with the race, though. Morgan Carpenter in the third. Three wide for the lead going down the back stretch. We got slow traffic up ahead. Matthew Rodriguez pulls back ahead of Morgan Carpenter to make three wide not happen, but she's still right there on the bumper of the 55. Battle of the energy. Uh, I can't talk. Battle of the energy drink between the 55 Monster Energy Drink and the 23 of the Nice Energy Drink. Both Toyotas up at the front. Dylan Pote, John Ryan Power slow up ahead. As the field comes by. Matthew Rodriguez is now leading. Charles Jackson will fall back a little bit. Zohar Munn jumped up to third. Going to win his second race of the season. Morgan Carpenter still looking for a win. And so is Matthew Rodriguez. So there's a bunch of Toyotas up there. From Jake Rogers hanging around up there in the top five. Oh, and Jackson's in the wall in the 36. Matt Richards about ran the back of him. And it looks like I saw the Batman pit sign down on pit road and it looks like Aaron Reed has dropped out of the race as he has Jake Johnson had a broken header oh and Trent Dunham is wrecked the A car man we got a lot of things to check up on 
Oh, Red Bell is wrecked. Another chaser. Charlotte has gone. And Matt Richards is wrecked. The field's been getting separated like crazy. The leader of the car, Dylan Pote, we need to go check a replay of all the wrecks that have happened. As we want to pause this race. First lap of the race. We haven't even got to the start finish line yet to start the race. Or not, uh, after not to complete the first lap, actually. And Scott Lubar got in the wall. Come down right into Aaron Reed. It's on from there. Dylan Poteen and him get together Connor Breen. Wesley Ware hit him. Look at them. Oh my. And Aaron Reed goes for a ride. Flips over a couple times and keeps driving. He eventually dropped out of the race. Ryan Acosta got a piece of it. Steven Gonzalez got a piece of it. Blake Cooper has damage. John Ryan Powell. Three chasers right there. And then Wesley Ware is fourth. And then we saw this wreck up here with Taylor Orndorff for Vince Paul. We're going to check out right here. And Wesley Ware. This happened right after that wreck going in the corner. Taylor Orndorff, there's so many cars on the apron. He slid up right into James Paul's. Both of them getting the wreck. And I think Wesley Ware is going to get collected in this. Jake Johnson, there he is. He got a piece of it. And Wesley Ware hits them too. About five or six chasers involved in the first lap incident in two different incidents. What a crazy set of events right there. Aaron Reed with a lot of damage again. We're going to ride on board with Steven Gonzalez to see what he saw. Now Steven started in the back of this race. And he's not going to be happy about this at all. And this is what he saw in front of him. He's going to see a flip. He's going to see Batman fly through the air over there with Aaron Reed. He hit John Ryan Powell. Avoids the 88 car flipping. Who miraculously kept driving. I don't know how he did that. That was a miraculous moment right there. Steven Gonzalez. Got little damage, but he's so far behind now. He's going to need a lot of people to drop out of this race to gain as many points as he can as Jack Richards has avoided everything so far. And now I'm going back and checking on some of the incidents that's happened within the last couple of laps. Now, this happened working lap number five. And Trent Dunn running back 13th position right outside the top 10 having a solid run. And the 24 car, Michael Dawson, for some reason is in the grass. Comes back up on track. He comes back on the track here. He's gonna get on the apron. He has to slow up and Trent Dunham ran right in the back of him. That's where he gets the damage. So Dawson has a little bit of damage and Trent Dunham has some front end damage on his eight car. That's not gonna be good. Trent just cannot catch a break this year in that eight car. But uh, we're gonna see what happened to his girlfriend who's right beside him right there, Red Bell. See if we can see what happened to her. As we're continuing through, Trent's gonna go to pit road here. He saw the very bay behind him. So Red's gonna come up here. Imagine going to look for the 74. Matt Richard had something happen. Three wider here, Michael Cosby and Charles Jackson. He got pinched up by Cosby and ran in, up into Charles Jackson. So he goes around. James McLeod, great avoiding right there. And oh, Red Bell. Clobbered Matt Richards. Everybody scrambles behind. For Matt Richards, Red Bell, done for the day. Another chaser in trouble. I don't want to deal with the three wide, but that was crazy. But uh, we'll get a running order figured out as we go back to live action. And as we're going down the back stretch, working lap number 7 of 20, we've had a lot of wrecks happen already. A lot of drivers out of the race. Matthew Rodriguez is the leader. Zohar Munn's in second. Jake Rogers third. And there's Jacob Rodriguez fourth. The Rodriguez brothers are in first and fourth. They haven't been able to say that much this often, or that often this season, those two. As Zohar Munn tries to take the lead, you look down there on the side at the results of the running order. Ryan Acosta, Jake Johnson, Wesley Ware, James Falls, Aaron Reed, Blake Cooper, Trent Dunham, and possibly Red Bell and Matt Richards are all going to be out of the race. Bunch of chases in trouble already. Dylan Pote's already had problems, or not Dylan Pote, uh, John Ryan Powell's having problems today. Thinking of me all of a sudden again. <laughs> Steven Gonzalez is running 30th right now. Jack, uh, Jack Richards. Jack Richards is running 33rd. We gotta go back and see what happened to the 14 car. He's actually running behind Steven Gonzalez. What happened to our points leader? Go check the replay and see what happened. I did not catch this. This was after the first big uh, big accident we had. And this is going into the corner where James Paul and Taylor Orndorff got together. Keep it on the 14's front end. Right in the back of the 34, Theo Steele. This pancaked the front end of that Red Bull racing car. And Jack Richards got a lot of front end damage and had to go to pit road eventually and get the front end repaired. So that's what happened to Jack Richards. So now he's running behind Steven Gonzalez and he's got crap, he's got entrapped one lap down. So the tables have turned again in this race. This time for championship points leader Jack Richards. And we're back. 
getting ready to clear lap number eight as Zoharman going to get around Matthew Rodriguez who gets in the wall. Jacob Rodriguez, his brother, is going to go by and take second. Here comes Jake Rogers going for third in the deuce, the blue deuce. Well, actually, the black deuce this time. He's going to try to declare. Here comes Morgan Carpenter. Michael Causey right behind the 97. And there's Sasha Dawson. We haven't heard out of her today. She's been quiet. She's had a bad race the last couple races. Trying to get back up in the chase contention. She's running in seventh. Oh, and Matthew Rodriguez. He was around the wall. He got off of it. Three wide right here. Oh, Jake Rogers in the wall. And Sasha goes to avoid. She's in the grass. Still in the grass. Uh-oh. Not in a good place right now. She's on the apron. Oh. Now Morgan Carpenter's around the wall. And now we have a battle for the lead between Zohar Mund and Jacob Rodriguez. Going down the back stretch. Side by side. They got around the slow car. John Ryan Powell. This has been one heck race. One hectic breakfast. And this time by will only be the halfway point. And Zohar's going to scrape the wall. Jacob Rodriguez to the lead. Jacob trying to pick up his second win of the season. Been very quiet since his win. And he struggled a lot. And Morgan Carpenter just muscled him away right past John Ryan Powell, who's slow. Jake Rogers. And there you see Matthew Rodriguez continue to drop back in the 55. I don't know what's wrong with his car. Hopefully he gets his car figured out. John Acosta continues to have another good run. He has been strong in the second half of the season. He's had shown some signs of brilliance in that six car. Callum Wells used to drive the car, and he used to run pretty well in that car. Randy Carpenter right now is in seventh. Great run for him. There's Sasha Dawson, Ken Johnson, Corey O'Malley, right outside the top ten. There's Andre Castro. Charles Jackson dropped back to 13th now. Ralph Green, he's probably in 14th. James McLeod, 15th. Michael Dawson with the damage, 16th. Jeff Ehlers, 17th. Er, yeah. Cody Birmingham's up to 18th. Pete London is 19th now. Tim Fralick is 20th. Last week, clear Zach Carlson's running 21st in car 21. They're all held up behind Dylan Poteet right now. Theo Stegall, John Dawson, Leo Rogers. Cal Wells, Chase Contender, 25th. Alexander Dawson, and there's Jack Richards, 33rd. Connor Brands at 27th, Taylor Orndorff 28th, Steven Gonzalez is running 30th. Really nobody's taking advantage except for like Jake Rogers and Sasha Dawson. This guy Luke Walker's in 29th. Jacob Rodriguez continues to lead. Zohar has now dropped back to the fourth spot after hitting the wall a few times. And we got a battle for second place between Michael Causey and Morgan Carpenter. Carpenter's had a, a great car today in the 23 car. She ran good last week at Talladega. Trying to break through and get her first win. Her brother Randy won the Coke Zero 400 back in Daytona, the night race there. He got a win this season. Morgan's trying to get a win as well. And she's now taking the second spot away from Michael Causey. As Causey hits the wall, he pancaked the wall, it looked like. We got six laps to go. Here comes Jake Rogers and Zohar Munn going under the 97. Looks like Causey's teammate, John DaCosta, Mike, or not John DaCosta, wow. Oh, yeah, that's John DaCosta. Whoops. Thought I said the wrong name for a second. John Acosta is in six right now, right behind his teammate Michael Causey. There's Morgan's brother Randy right now in seven. Owen Rogers way up the track. They're gonna avoid the wall, maybe. Looks like they are. Yeah, maybe Causey with a scrape. But Jacob Rodriguez running good right now in the 45. Some guys that some guys and gals have not had good runs this season are up at the front today. Jacob Rodriguez, Morgan Carpenter, Noah Munn, John Acosta. Jake Rogers, he's been quiet most of the season, it seems like. He's made the chase, but he's still trying to get a win. Michael Causey's going back by him. Here comes Ken Johnson. He's still looking for a win since his Talladega win for season one. Still looking for some kind of magic. Randy Carpenter and Sasha Dawson are battling. And Corey O'Malley's in 10th now. Look at Matthew Rodriguez drop back to 12th. He must have a lot of damage to the right side of that car. But he's started to slowly drop back. There's Ralph Green giving up some spots. Ralph Green's pancaked the wall. Ralph Green with a lot of right side damage. He went across the line in 16th that time, but he just lost it to Cody Birmingham. So he dropped the 19 car back to 17th place. But he's still gained a lot of points on the points leaders. As they're running back, Cal Wells has moved up to 23rd. Jack Richards is now 32nd. Steven Gonzalez is 29th. And Morgan Carpenter has gone around Jacob Rodriguez. I guess the 99 car had a part of the reason for that. Scott Luke Walker is a slow car right now. As Jacob Rodriguez is going to have to try to run her back down. We're going to be coming to the line. This time by will be two laps to go. And Rodriguez drives it hard in the corner in the 45. That sprint. Ford Fusion is coming. Zohar hangs on to third right here. John Acosta is now fourth. Michael Causey is in fifth. Let's rest your top ten. 
We'll go back up to the front side. We have a great battle for the lead between Morgan Carpenter and Jacob Rodriguez. Morgan's trying to get her first win ever here in the Mountain Dew Race Series. She's had success in the Mopar Nationwide Series, but she's trying to break through finally in the Cup Series. Jacob Rodriguez, he's had a lot of success also in the Mopar Nationwide Series, but he's trying to get another one here in the Mountain Dew Race Series. We come to the line, the white flag, one lap to go for these two. Who's going to win? Jacob Rodriguez to the inside of Morgan Carpenter. He's not wasting any time. Morgan's going to drive it hard up there, but she can't do not much. And Jacob Rodriguez to the lead. Up ahead, you see Steven Gonzalez with 51. He's about to go lap down, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Does Morgan Carpenter have anything for Jacob Rodriguez? She wants to win bad, but I think she waited. To hang on and she drove it into too hard and it's going to cost her the race. Jacob Rodriguez is going to come around and win the Bank of America 500, his second win of the season. Morgan Carpenter outstanding run for her, loses the lead on the last lap though, gets a strong second place finish still. Zohar Martin fourth, John Acosta fifth, Ken Johnson wait, John Acosta fourth, Ken Johnson fifth, Sasha Dawson sixth, Michael Causey got seventh, Corey O'Malley eighth, Jake Rogers ninth, and Randy Carpenter in 10th. But congrats again to Jacob Rodriguez on another win. Needed this run. And this is definitely, like I said, going to shuffle up the points. So I don't know what it's going to expect now. As the points are going to get shuffled up. Like I said guys, comment. Um, if you need updates on when the race is going to be, I'll send them to you. Sub to me and I can. I'll do that. And you'll be able to see the points in the description. Just do what I... I would like you guys to all comment on these, especially if you're in the series. I just want to know you guys are watching, you know? So, just throwing that out there real quick in this video. But, uh, look down a little bit outside the top 10, other chasers. Ralph Green dropped to 21st. Not a good day for him. Callum Wells, 23rd. Steven Gonzalez, 29th, last car in the lead lap. Jack Richards, 32nd. John Ryan Powell got around him in 31st. And then, the ch most of the cars are outward chasers, actually. Red Bell, 35th. Aaron Reed, 38th. James Qual, 39th. Wesley Ware, 40th. Jake Johnson, 41st. But, there's your results. The points are definitely going to be mixed up a little bit, and we'll see what happens. And, we're halfway through the chase, and our next race will be at... Oh, my schedule won't, hold on. Schedule, our next one will be at Kansas Speedway for the running of the Hollywood Casino 400, so stay tuned for that race. And stay tuned for the Mopar Nationwide Series as this winding down as well. Hopefully they both will end on the same day, so stay tuned to that, and I will see you guys at Kansas. And congrats again to Jacob Rodriguez and the whole 45 team for the win here at Charlotte.